This video is part one of the series on human evolution and the single cell. According to Happy Theory, the construction of the human body can be described at a basic theoretical level using five shapes. These five shapes are the sphere, the circle, the spiral, the triangle, and the pyramid. The reason why the construction of the human body can be described at a basic theoretical level in terms of spheres, circles, spirals, triangles, and pyramids is really very simple. According to Darwin's theory of evolution, the human body evolved from a single cell floating in the ocean. That single cell evolved into a fish, then an amphibian, then a reptile, a bird, an insect, a mammal, and finally into a human being. According to Happy Theory, the present day human body retains characteristics of all of the creatures on the path of evolution. What that means is that somewhere in the human body is a characteristic or trait of a fish, an amphibian, a reptile, a bird, an insect, a mammal, and most pertinent to this video, the original single cell floating in the ocean. According to Happy Theory, the construction of the human body can be described at a basic theoretical level using spheres, circles, spirals, triangles, and pyramids because those are the shapes that were available to the single cell floating in the ocean when it decided to begin the process of evolving into a more complex life form. Here is a colorized photograph of a single cell. As can be seen, the single cell has a spherical shape. The cell is not exactly spherical, but that does not matter. For theoretical purposes, the cell can be treated as a perfect sphere like the one shown in this comparison picture. According to Happy Theory, that is why a sphere is one of the shapes that can be used to describe the construction of the human body at a basic theoretical level. The single cell itself has a spherical shape which the cell could use as it began building more complex life forms. The reason why the construction of the human body can be described at a basic theoretical level using circles is just as simple as the reason why the construction of the human body can be described at a basic theoretical level using spheres. Here is a picture of a sphere. If a sphere is sliced from side to side in any direction, the two halves of the sphere will have a circular shape at the cut. For simplicity, this sphere will be cut into two symmetric halves at the location indicated by the line on the sphere in this picture. The next picture shows the two halves of the sphere after it has been cut. Each half of the sphere exhibits a circular shape at the cut, as emphasized by the outlines drawn in this picture. According to Happy Theory, that is why the circle is one of the shapes that can be used to describe the construction of the human body at a basic theoretical level. If the spherically shaped single cell floating in the ocean was cut in half, the cell would have a circular shape it could use as it began building more complex life forms. The reason why the construction of the human body can be described at a basic theoretical level using the spiral is just as simple as the reason why the sphere and the circle can be used to describe the construction of the human body at a basic theoretical level. If a line starting at any point on a sphere travels upwards or downwards while simultaneously traveling around the circumference of the sphere, the line will create a spiral as shown in this picture. According to Happy Theory, this property of any sphere including the spherically shaped single cell floating in the ocean is why a spiral is one of the shapes that can be used to describe the human body at a basic theoretical level. The single cell floating in the ocean could use the spiral created by traveling around the surface of its spherically shaped body as one of the shapes with which it could begin building more complex life forms. The reason the construction of the human body can be described at a basic theoretical level using the triangle is a little more complex than the reason why the sphere, the circle, and the spiral can be used to describe the construction of the human body at a basic theoretical level. A single cell reproduces through the process of cell division. The single cell will divide in half to produce two new identical single cells, as shown in this example picture. This picture shows two vaguely circular shapes that are connected to each other at one side. The connection point is where the two cells will eventually break apart into two new identical single cells. 
There is a gap on either side of the connection point between the two cells, as highlighted in this picture. In the next picture, a line connecting the two cells has been drawn across the bottom of each of these gaps. As can be seen in the picture, the space enclosed by the line at the bottom of each gap and the edges of the two cells forms a triangle. The triangular shape of both gaps is highlighted in this picture. According to Happy Theory, this picture provides the reason why the triangle is one of the shapes that can be used to describe the construction of the human body at a basic theoretical level. The single cell could use the triangular shape formed between the two cells during cell division as one of the shapes with which to begin building more complex life forms. The reason why the pyramid can be used to describe the construction of the human body at a basic theoretical level is related to the reason why the triangle can be used to describe the construction of the human body at a basic theoretical level. Here is the picture of the single cell undergoing the process of cell division. The shape enclosed between the two circular appearing cells and the line at the bottom of each gap is a triangle because this is a two-dimensional picture. It was previously stated though that the single cells are three-dimensional spheres. That means that the space in between the two three-dimensional spherical cells would also be three-dimensional. This picture is a frontal view showing two spheres connected together so that they resemble the single cell undergoing the process of cell division. The shape formed by closing off the end of each gap between the two spheres is a triangle as highlighted in this picture. The camera is then moved to a side view in this picture so that the three-dimensional nature of the two spheres can be seen. This picture also reveals that the space in between the two spheres is three-dimensional as expected. The reason that a pyramid is one of the shapes that can be used to describe the construction of the human body at a basic theoretical level is because a pyramid is a three-dimensional object with a triangular shape as shown in this picture. A pyramid has a flat rectangular base with triangular shaped sides rising upwards. The three-dimensional triangular shaped faces of the pyramid fit into the triangular shaped space between the two three-dimensional spheres as shown in this picture. It is difficult to be certain of the triangular shape of the space between the two spheres from this three-dimensional perspective. To verify that the three-dimensional triangular pyramid fits into the triangular shape gap between the two three-dimensional spheres, the camera is moved to the front view position in this picture. This two-dimensional front view picture of the three-dimensional pyramid in between the two three-dimensional spheres looks similar to the two-dimensional picture of the single cell dividing with a line closing the bottom of each gap between the two cells as shown in this comparison picture. According to Happy Theory, the previous demonstration provides the reason why the pyramid is one of the shapes that can be used to describe the construction of the human body at a basic theoretical level. The single cell could use the pyramid shaped space created between the two new cells during the process of cell division as one of the shapes with which it could begin building more complex life forms. To summarize, the construction of the human body can be described at a basic theoretical level by the sphere, the circle, the spiral, the triangle, and the pyramid for the simple reason that those were the shapes available to the single cell floating in the ocean when it began the process of evolving into more complex life forms.